Aye, oh yeah, baby. Welcome to Shabbat's Candy Kitchen. Hot day. Hey, look here. Today, I'm cooking again, baby. Today, we're making a crawfish cornbread. Let me it's tell you cornbread what. Cornbread is just so perfect, so perfect. It's going to have you, your knees She's going to be trying to break the door down. She had to see what's cooking in the kitchen. Oh, yes. This is the thing for you, Shad. Let me tell you what. We're going to get started right now. Right now, we're going to talk about what you need out here to make this thing, okay? Now, you're going to hear a little music playing and all that, because I'm going to show you what all you need, and then we're going to work it out. Here we go, Shad. First of all, you're going to need a 9 by 13 pan that's oiled up. A little oil right here. Ooh, that's a noisy little pan too. I want all the sides real good. And this is one of them fancy ones here. And when you're finished, it's going to be all full of crawfish cornbread. I'll put it on the side right here for right now. Got my oven working right now at 350 degrees. Because I'm going to have to bake this for 50 minutes, no less than 50 minutes, at 350 degrees. All right. I'm going to need a pot like this. You see that little pot? Got to have a pot like that. Get you a little strainer. You know, you might have another way to do what I'm going to do after a while, but get you a little strainer just in case. And a little bowl that's, or something that's going to fit in that strainer because you're going to be doing some heavy duty straining in a minute. All right, ingredients. So that's what you need for some little tools. Ingredients. I've got some pepper jack cheese. Got that with jalapenos in there. Get you at least a handful and a half or two handfuls. You're going to need that. I got some roasted corn. It's pretty roasted corn. See, today I'm using some green giant roasted corn. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's good stuff. Rotels. I'm using the Rotel tomatoes. That's the hot tomato, the original tomatoes. Sorry about that. I got the kids got to eat it too, you know. All right, a Jiffy cornbread mix. Hey, that's my standard on this. I need three quarters of a cup of water. I'll be using some Tona Shasheries brown gravy mix. That's some more good stuff. One tablespoon green onions. One tablespoon yellow onions, and I'm using dehydrated. It's a lot easier. I've got a teaspoon of garlic powder. I got half a teaspoon of black pepper. A quarter teaspoon celery seed, baby. Celery seed. And a teaspoon of salt. I sure got a lot of stuff here, huh? Look, that's that little stuff I'm using there, that roasted corn by Green Giant right here. This little picture of it, you know what I mean? Got to put that up in a minute. Let me just set it aside here. That was, that was just for demonstration purposes. All right, bay leaf. Got to have a bay leaf. I'm going to set it aside right now. As a matter of fact, see this little pot? I'm going to throw that bay leaf in there because it's going to need it in just a few minutes. And I'm using some crawfish tails. This brand is e &L Beaver Farms. And it's good, very good. Oh yeah. And of course, a mixing bowl, you need that. Spoon, you need that. And I think I got it all. Let me tell you what. This is one heck of a recipe, Shaq. Call for a lot of stuff, but you're going to love it to death. Love it to death. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'll be right back. I'm going to take these crawfish tails 
and I'm going to rinse them out real good, get all the fat out of them, all the liquids out of them, because I don't need all that liquid in there. All I need is some beautiful crawfish tail meat. Be right all right, we're back. Got my crawfish cleaned up, and that's some beauty. Let me come around there and show you that. Look at this. Eh? That's some beauties, yeah? That's some beauties. Look at them rascals. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, indeed. And those are from E&L Beaver Farms. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very clean, clean, clean crawfish. I mean, All right, let's beautiful. get started. I don't want to waste too much time. Let me move everything aside till I'm ready for it. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up this Jiffy cornbread mix. Because I want to get all my dry ingredients together. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Put that aside. Yeah, right there. Out my way. Now, what else I got? Now, I'm going to put all my little dry ingredients in there. There goes my... Tony Shasheries. There goes my Tony Shashery brown gravy mix. There goes my green onion. There goes my garlic powder, baby. There goes my yellow onions. Oh boy, that's starting to smell good already. There's my little thing of black pepper. Woohoo! There's some salt, Shash. Gotta have a little salt in there. Oh man, look here. Celery seeds. Bang, 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 bang. Let me put that aside. That's one thing I do dirty some dishes now. <laughs> but that's the way it is. All right, I'm going to put that aside right here. Now, there's that little pot with the bay leaf in it. And here's what I'm going to do first. Put me a strainer in there. I'm going to pour that water in, three-quarter cup of water in there. Tails in there, right in that strainer. Cause I want the juice. I want to capture. I gotta capture that juice. Just got to capture the juice. Yeah, got to capture the juice. Make sure you get it all out yet. All right now, I got a bay leaf, some rotel juice, water in there. See that little bowl? I'ma squeeze that down there. I want to get everything, all the juice out of it. Yes, indeed. And at the same time, it's going to dry out my rotels a little bit. Because I, I don't want much liquid. I don't want much liquid in my, my uh, crawfish cornbread, you know, while you're baking it. All right. Now. Put that up. Got one more ingredient I got to it. See that? That's a stick of butter uh, melted. I'm going to put that right here on the side. And just leave it alone. My rotel, I'm going to put it on the side. My crawfish tails, they've been cleaned, rinsed, all the fat removed, all the liquid removed. And that's going to be boiled up. Right here in this pot. And I'm also going to put my corn in there. My roasted corn, I'm going to drop that in there also, okay? We'll going to boil that together. Get some flavor in there. I'm trying to capture that bay leaf flavor. Once it starts boiling, boil it for 10 minutes. I'm trying to capture the bay leaf flavor 
the roasted corn flavor and the crawfish flavor all up all together right there. You see what's gonna happen after a while, okay? Let me put this aside. Put this aside. I don't have that many ingredients left to work with. That's my dry one right here. We be back. Show sure. oh, yeah. I oh, you yeah, baby. Man, this is so much fun. Alright, we back. Let me tell you what. Got an ingredient I forgot about besides my butter a while ago. And that was eggs. You need three beaten eggs. Which I'ma do right now. How I forgot to add that, I don't know. I just don't know. It's been a while there. And we're going to beat them up right now, baby. I just cut off my crawfish and corn mixture. All right. That's good enough. All right, here's my crawfish and corn mixture here. Don't forget to take the bay leaf out. Okay, right now we're going to start mixing everything into our dry ingredients. And here we go. First thing I'm going to do is add these eggs. Next. Add these rotels. Get them all in there. I love hot rotels. And I'm going to add my cheese. Lots of jalapeno in this cheese, baby. That pepper jack and jalapeno. Good stuff. I like to try to keep a clean work area. Add my butter. Stick of butter. Baby. My crawfish and corn. Put it in there. As you can see, I need a pretty good sized mixing bowl. And now I'm going to mix it. This is the easy part right here. Get that old jiffy mixed up with all this. This awesome cornbread has gone to Houston, Texas. Yes, indeed. It's all good on the bayou, Shad. It's all good on the bayou. Now I've got it all mixed in real good. You talk about smell good. Ho! Oh. Like my oil pan, my little pan's all greased. And now, I'm going to dump it in there. My oven's hot. It's at 350. I have to bake this for 50 minutes. Not 45, not 48. Set your timer for 50 minutes. It's going to get so pretty and golden brown. Let me tell you, at 45 minutes, you're going to want to take it out. No, no, don't do it. That last five minutes makes a difference. Now, let me pick up my little mess here. Here I go. Spread it out even. 
It's a 9 by 13 fan, which is good, good size. Okay. Like that kind of helps even it out a little bit. The oven opened up. We're going to put it in the oven. Hey, this chef book, I'll see you in 50 minutes. Take it easy, baby. Hot dang. Ooh, they're going to love this thing in Texas. Get a little light on that sucker. Perfect. All right. See you later. Bye. Oh, yeah, baby. Listen here. It's ready, Chef. My oven's talking to me. Yeah, let me cut her off. See what we got in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fifty minutes at 350. Look at that rascal. Huh? That is a baby. That's a crawfish cornbread check. Give you a close up look at this rascal. Let's see if I can get a good picture here for you. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, look. Got to cool it down right now. You chef boy. This crawfish cornbread's heading to Houston. Anyway, Shad, talk to y'all later. Aye, oh, yeah, baby. Have a good one, Shad. Hot game. And I'd love to eat some now, but no, nah, that never got to go to Houston. Lord, Lord, Lord. Crawfish ain't never looked so good. Ain't never tasted so good. Don't <laughs>